in the last video I I started the billing client and then I wanted to load all SKUs I mean all products that I'm gonna show to the user to monetize my app in order to query the SKUs I need an SKU details param so I have to create one so I proceed like this SKU details params that new builder that set SKU list and I pass the list of SKUs that I added in the last module like this and then set type is billing type that SKU type that in app for this project I'm gonna use in app but I have another option for subs which is for subscriptions and then that build and then I write billing client dot query SKU details async. What it needs is params and SKU details. So I pass params that I created and then new SKU details, SKU details response listener like this. Then I check if the response code is okay and the list of SKUs that is the result of the query is not empty do this for every SKU details in the SKU detail list first of all cast it to SKU details so here you can have the details of the SKU or product so if you use intelligence like this SKU details you can get the SKU the price the description the price amount micros and everything the price currency code and everything regarding that product what I really need here is the SKU because I want to make sure that this is exactly the product that I'm looking for. So I say if SKU equals the SKU that I have in mind. So this is the SKU that I was looking for so I can do whatever I want with this product if you have more than one product you can say for example else the same thing same statement but this time for another one for another product for example and you can process that product differently I'm gonna use this SKU details so I create a global variable here called msku details of the type SKU details and I'm gonna use this variable to store the SKU details that I found here we're gonna need a button for the user to click on and start purchase, purchasing our product. So I go to my layout, activity layout, and instead of this text view, I am gonna paste this button. BTM buy is the ID and the text is buy. Then I define it globally, I mean a variable for this button called button buy product. And then in uncreate, I'm gonna initialize it with medium buy, and then I'm gonna set it disabled because I don't want it to be enabled before everything is okay. Alternatively, I can use visibility I mean this is view yeah 
view yeah, this one dot invisible yeah I make it invisible not to be shown to the user and then when the product is ready to be bought or purchased by the user I can make it visible but for now only enable or disable is enough I go back to my for loop here after finding my product and then the button should be ready to be clicked so I set it enable then I add a click listener for this button and then new view dot on click listener on click listener yeah this is the one then I say implement methods yeah I need unclick and this error is gone when this button is clicked we need to start the billing flow but first of all we need a, a parameter of type billing flow parameters like this new builder set SKU details with the SKU details that I found and then that build and then I say billing client dot launch billing flow this requires activities I say main activity dot this and then the parameter that I created above billing flow parameters yeah this is the one so that starts the billing flow as you know, our activity implements purchases updated listeners. So we have to implement on purchases updated. This gives us a, a billing result and a list of purchases. So first I'm gonna store the response code into a variable and then I can say if this response code equals billing client dot billing response code dot OK and also if purchases is not null For each purchase in the list of purchases, we have to handle purchase. So I pass purchase to it, to every purchase, every single purchase. So this function should be created. So I say, yeah, created it like that. So here I say, if for this purchase this KU is this state is this KU that I'm looking for and the purchase state is purchased we need something like that so I'm gonna say purchase is done enjoy your product or you are a premium user there is no ad here is your pack of gold or pack of lives if you wanna get the price you can do that in this on SKU details response in query SKU details async for example for this SKU SKU details I can get the price like this so SKU details SKU yeah, details dot get price is of type string so I can so I can store it in string so 
price and using this price I can update the caption of my button button product that set text and then I pass this product for example I can say buy and then the price plus scale details scale details dot get price currency code Now, when I run the application and press on buy, you can see that we have our product, which was a pack of coins, and that is just 99 cents, actually, one Canadian dollar. Everything seems fine, but there are a couple of issues we should take care. First, all purchases have to be acknowledged, otherwise they will be refunded within 3 days, something definitely you don't want. Second, imagine that a user purchased your product. The next time they open your app, they do not want to be charged again for the same product. They might also want to use the same product on another device. How do you know what products the user purchased? I will answer these questions in the next video. See you then. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and support me with subscribing to my channel.